Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Dawn Duality. This game caught my eye. It looks like an interesting kind of a take on the management sim. Well, let's let's just take, like jump into it and take a look. I haven't actually played any of it, so we'll probably getting be getting a little bit of tutorial edge. This is your father's legacy. I will restore it. I'm sure Don would be proud of you, Don. Let's go to something something. I I click to like see the full text, but it just skips the text. It's my bad. Antonio, father should have left me something. Your father was a wise man, and he had uh, set something aside for a rainy day. Some money. It's not much, but enough to get you started. First, we need to set up the hardware. Buy this stove. I, uh, all right, I bought it. Buy this table. <laughs> all right, next step would be to hire staff. All right. I know a guy who knows a guy. These are trusted people. Hire them. Hire a waiter. Who? Who though? 50 per day, 150 per day, or 120 per day. Let's go for the 120. We'll go for the compromise. Hire cook. We're really blowing through all of our money. Let's do uh, Jeffrey. Capriccia. We don't need another cook. Quick, whack the guy. Right click to discard the card. At any time, you can discard any unnecessary cards in this way. <clears throat> Before we open the restaurant, we need to hire two reliable Goombas. Hire gangsters. I'm running out of money. Let's do... Luciano. Do we need another one, or can we just right, right click that one? Is this just a way of getting some money? Can I just exploit this and get more money? No, I don't think so. Brother A. Hey, that guy looks familiar. Fantastico. I'm sure you remember your people need to get paid every day. In this report, you can see daily expenses for your employees. Um, okay. Uh, there's two different kinds of currencies here. 345, so that's how much I'm going to have to pay, and then 500 is way more than I have. You have to keep your people busy, Don. Send people to take care of the job. I hope these boom bots can handle, handle it. Rob Store. All right. Send Brother A or Luciano. One costs silver, one costs gold. Oh, I guess we have to do both. Go for it. Get me some money. Bada bing, bada boom. Goombas bring black cash. Now we have just, uh, we just have to clean it. Uh, we're we're going to start a money laundering business. Machabelle. It's time to open the restaurant. So we have, we've, so far we're managing a mob. We're managing a restaurant. What else are we managing? Place an ad in the local newspaper. Advertising on newspaper. All right. That's the rest of my money. I have no more money. Each restaurant bill contains a share of black cash. The more we earn, the more we launder. Mer Meronomia. It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. The laundering percentage can be adjusted at the end of the day. Basta, Antonio, I'm getting tired of your lectures. Let's skip to the uh, skip those details. As you say, Don, any questions for me? Nante, I will take it from here. Look at all the money that just exploded. I guess these guys are actually like, you know, buying food from a restaurant. Scusi, Don. There's one more thing. Be careful when a red card gets into your hand. It is activated by other cards with a bell symbol. Antonio, don't be a stronzo now. <laughs> Enough of your yapping. I said, I said I got this, capiche? Hmm. All right. So we've got sort of a semi-deck building mini game, or maybe we're just like playing cards. It doesn't have to be a deck builder. Um, hire waiter. Avoid random event. How do we avoid random event? By the table. Thank you, cat. Really appreciate you. You didn't need to do that at all. Thank you, 
All right, the cat has gone now. Steal a piece of art or hire a gangster. That one's got um, the bell. I'm not sure what that means. Money, power, respect. A table allows you to increase the number of visitors to the restaurant. Let's steal a piece of art. Fire inspection. An unscheduled fire inspection will appear will appear on the restaurant. I don't want this. Can I can I get rid of it? Nope. I want to buy a table. What? Okay. Reward penalty 10%, fail rate 10%, duration 20 seconds. We could steal a car. No, we can't steal a car? Oh, I guess our lads are not back yet. They just got back with some money. Can you all steal a car now? Yeah. Oh, I see. I can select one of these. Go for it. Um, wouldn't mind buying another table so we get some more from the restaurant. I don't know how to get rid of this fire inspection. Hire, let's, um, maybe we should hire a wa waiter. Working at a restaurant means being part of a family. Avoid random event. One of the random events will be discarded. Yes, that's how we get rid of fire. But there's another one, quarantine. Half the tables will be inaccessible to visitors. Um, well, let's advertise in the newspaper. We can also hire another gangster. Laundered money is six ninety. So this is we can we can choose how. Oh, I see. So ah, uh, I get it. So the yellow money is what we're making that is legitimate, and then the the black money is money that we're making illegitimately. So if we increase this, we can increase the amount of black money we're converting. But right now we're just converting a hundred percent, so that's fine. And uh, we're keeping police attention level. Try not to draw too much attention to your criminal activities. Let's uh, buy a table and maybe hire a new cook. We'll do Ned. Ned! Um, wouldn't mind buying, uh, hiring another waiter as well. I should get rid of this. I don't think we have enough money right now. Um, let's get rid of buy a weapons workshop. Oh, there's some there's some interesting stuff here. Let's get rid of a higher waiter. Get money out of de debtor. Okay, let's do this. We'll we'll choose black money. So, oh, I see fee per day. Does that mean they're gonna take five hundred um, of my black money? I'm not sure what's better there. Let's also steal a car. Um, I don't really, I don't know if I want to hire a waiter. I think we're keeping on top of our customers. We do have two chefs. I don't know if we need two chefs. Hire a gangster. We could hire a gangster, but I kind of want to save up some money for buy a weapons workshop or buy a punching bag. Let's get rid of hire waiter. Steal a piece of art. There we go. We, um, you know, we are increasing a little bit of attention on ourselves, but that's okay, you know. We don't need another cook. I don't even think we need another gangster right now, but we d I could always use another table, I think. Let's avoid a random event. God, they keep throwing random events on me. Rob the store. Hire another gangster. If I hired another gang, I I'm already attracting too much attention on myself, so I don't think we need another gangster. Advertising on newspaper, we could always do that. I don't see a problem with that. Um, and let's buy a weapons workshop. We can't do that yet. A good weapon increases the chance of survival. All right, um, high level laundering, high laundry level affects the danger level. Maybe we should do less. I kind of wish I would, uh, I could get a little bit more transparency on like how much money am I actually laundering? Laundered money, 1200. Or is this like how much we're going to launder the next day? 
because maybe we could do 80 percent and then we'll attract less attention on ourselves raider seizure bad penalties fail fail rate is 25 percent avoid random event what happened to our weapons well, let's just buy a table i honestly i'm making like more money legitimately than illegitimately um a good place for increasing the chance the change of survival Oh, I see we need, um, we need a thousand illegitimate money for this. Interesting. Let's get rid of these. IT crowd invasion. So if I click on this next to this, does that mean I'm going to be increase like increasing my attention? Let's do buy a punching bag. I still can't do that. Oh, that's right, because I don't have enough illegitimate money. Let's do... What do you mean, what do you mean I can't do this? Oh, is, a, is my dude... Oh, are we, not, are we not keeping on top of our restaurant? We might need some more um, waiters. I think we're okay for cooks. I think we need another waiter. We don't need another gangster. Okay, let's do raid seizure now. Higher waiter. Let's do this. We need another waiter. So I guess we can get rid of this if it gets to the all, all the way to the other side. It seems um, difficult to achieve. I don't know how to decrease our attention. Try not to draw too much attention to your criminal activities. Well, how does one do that exactly? We're making some pretty good money right now. We're almost through the day. Um, people are getting kind of cheesed off with me because I don't, I'm not getting food to them quickly enough. Um, again, I kind of wish I had a bit more transparency on some stuff like 480 what? I know money, but which kind of money? There's two different kinds of currency, laundered money. So that's how much money we're laundering. Hopefully that means we're decreasing our... Yeah, okay, we are decreasing our attention. Mom is coming. What is this? Are you my best chef? Of course, sir. Merav... <laughs> Meraviglicio? I don't know. Here's a list of her favorite meals. Yes, sir. If you won't cook even one, I will have to kill you. <laughs> Oh no. Okay, IT crowd invasion. Um, we could hire another cook. I don't think we need another cook. We definitely, I think, need another waiter, possibly. Let's let's steal a piece of art. We'll see how um, successful they are. We could hire another gangster. Honestly, let's just, um, I'll, I'll keep an eye on this. And if it's going okay, it seems to be going okay. They're waiting a little bit, but not too badly. Maybe I need another cook. They do seem to be taking a little bit long. We'll see. I'm just keeping an eye on it. I think it's okay. Well, well, let's get rid of these. Hipsters crowd. What? What happened there? Buy shelf. What does this mean? Unlocks new expensive dishes on the menu. We'll get rid of higher gangster. I don't understand. Like, I guess getting rid of stuff next to this card is bad. Get money out of debtor. Let's just, I'm just experimenting at this point. Seems like playing the card next to uh, an event is okay. We could rob the store. We can't hire, rob the store. Let's hire a gangster. So you do have to kind of play the balancing act between if you're pl spending illegitimate money or legitimate money. I'm still um, on the fence on whether or not I should hire a cook. That guy's way too expensive. 
I should probably get rid of one of my gangsters who's like too expensive. Avoid random event. There we go. Upgrade the table. Nice. I mean, things are going okay. We are kind of um, building up too much attention. Launder money on NFT. Oh, God. Really, guys? Did, did we really need to? I guess... I guess this is a, not necessarily... A good like portrayal of the the whole madness. I'm just like I'm I'm honestly really grateful that we don't have to talk about NFTs anymore. Not that we ever did, but it's just like I'm I'm so I'm so done with it. Let's hire another gangster. Get money out of debtor. This guy's really expensive. I just want to get rid of him. I wish I could... Okay, we can unselect. It's not obvious that you can unselect, but you can unselect. Okay, so... Oh, so... I think that what's happening is when I'm doing some of these... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When I'm doing some of these, like, crime cards, there's a chance that it can build up attention on these uh, events. Let's buy some knives. Can we bribe the police officers? Penalty... Okay. There's a 25% chance this will fail, but if it succeeds, we'll get the police off our back a little bit. Avoid the random event. That's pretty good. Oh god, there's still a random event. There's always going to be a random event. We're honestly, we're honestly a more successful restaurant than we are a crime syndicate. Did this work? Did that work for me? It seemed to work. Let's hire another cook. Risky money laundering. Penalty, half our money disappears, or at least half our uh, black money. But reward is increased funds. This, this seems like a pretty okay way uh, way to do things. I'm, I don't have very much illegitimate money, so I'm cool with that. One of our gangsters just looks like a content creator. Let's get another waiter. Might want to get another chef as well. Okay. I mean, things are going well. I don't know if I'm playing things well or if I'm just getting kind of lucky. Let's uh, bribe the police officer again. Could be bad, but you know. Okay, so getting rid of cards does increase the, you know, the, the event. Let's buy a refrigerator. Blackmail the money bags. Penalty plus 5%. Or, and also negative a thousand black uh, money. Or we could potentially get a thousand dollars. Seems worth it. All of our gangsters are gone. It seems to me like we're doing pretty okay keeping everyone in check. I still wouldn't mind having an extra um, chef, I think. Oh, we have three. Okay, we have three of both. I think we're okay. How much we get here? A thousand. We succeeded. Nice. This whole game is basically super risk reward, I think. Um, Let's rob a store. Advertising on newspaper always seems like a good idea. Raider seizure? Maybe when uh, our gangsters come back. I guess we could hire another gangster. No, no problem with that, I suppose. Avoid random event. Nice. Get money out of debtor. Sure. Well... Uh, I guess there was a failure on one of our events, so we, we increased this. Donuts for the cops. Can we play this? We can't play that. We don't want to play that, I suppose. 
Um, could hire another gangster. I'm doing pretty okay with this whole mob business. Blackmail the money bags. Uh, advertising on the newspapers. We'll raid bribing the police officer seems like a good idea, but we need another. Uh oh. We, we, uh, donuts. The, the cops are coming in to order donuts. Upgrade the table. Give him the special table. Give him the other special table. Convert dirty money. We don't have enough. Oh, we're, we're a thousand in debt right now. Okay, I'm gonna need you to go and do a job. Get out there. We don't, we need, we need more, we need more gangsters. What, what, where are all of our gangsters? Did they all get imprisoned? Uh oh. There's, I think I only have one gangster and no money. Well, at least we have a successful restaurant. Oh no, are you dead? Dead gangster increases the police attention rate. Would be good to hide the body before it stinks. Oh, how do we do that? Hide the corpse. We don't have any gangsters. Steal a car. Um, oh no. Is this like a death check in like D&D? &D? Uh huh. That's bad, right? Is that bad? Don, our chances are 35%. Uh, I feel like we don't want justice. We don't actually have any money. Don, duality, accuse of money laundering. I demand immediate arrest. Objection. You don't have enough evidence. I demand the relief. Let's get down to brass tacks. Okay. Uh, Don Duality, you are accused of money laundering and will be arrested. Arrested! Bummer. Game over. We lasted seven days. Well, that's about as long as the uh, demo last isn't it and then we can buy new cards for the next run we don't have any money though okay um well let's uh let's actually call it there it's a you know the, the basically as long as the the demo lasts it says nine in game day so I, if i hadn't failed there i would have lasted two two more days before the demo ended it's an interesting game. Um, I'm not really super sure on how I'm supposed to manage my attention, but it seems to me like basically every choice offered to the player is a risk reward of like, do I want some money or, you know, like, so take this risk. And in that sense, I actually don't think that there's very much player agency here. Like it's, it, it kind of relies on the player making decisions that don't really exist because all of the decisions are more or less the same. Like you can, definitely um bank on certain actions um and like throw away other ones but i'm not sure if that's is that an interesting choice like are there choices that are going to feel more meaningful than others um i don't know i think if um like i i really don't know what to say about this game in terms of like offering criticism um, other than I, I feel like maybe some of the decisions need to be tweaked or maybe bit made a bit more obvious what they're, um, like, not, uh, what are the consequences of those? Like, I know it says straight up, but it kind of just feels like every single choice is a risk reward. And, um, I, I guess at a certain point I have to wonder, isn't it, is, is it just actually easier to run a legitimate restaurant than it is to do any of the crime stuff? But it also seems like you gain attention on your restaurant by discarding cards 
and so you get those events even though you're not really doing much crime so i don't know I, it's this one's a little bit up in the air and i have no idea how i would even go about um changing or tweaking things um so maybe it's just a preference thing and i it's not the kind of game that i would tend to play um i'm not sure i i have mixed feelings if it's if it's uh you know not obvious but this is Don Duality. Maybe you've played it. Maybe you've played the demo. And if you have, maybe you can let me know in the comments what you think of it. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.